Hey everybody, it's the 2016 State of the Office Report and not a whole lot has changed so I'm just going to do a quick one this year just on the few things that are different. There are a few things in the Digitalia and Musicatalia worlds that are different. Everything mostly structurally about the office and desk and stuff is exactly the same. So here's the TLDR version. Structurally, everything in the office is the same. It's the same standing desk, the same writable surface. I don't even know why I wrote that. I just did. That you can wipe right off. Still working great. In the Digitalia front, there are one, two, three, four, we'll call it four changes. First, my M Audio AV40s finally, after many, many years of great service, bit the dirt. Tried to something new. These are PreSonus Aris 5s. They sound very good and they have a power switch right in the front. Most powered monitors put them in the back. That's a terrible idea. The switch belongs in the front. This is a Blue Microphones Yeti I picked up on a special on Amazon around the holidays. It is enormous and it weighs a ton. Look, here's my hand, which is quite large. For a woman so you can see how big this sucker is it sounds great you're not hearing that right now you're hearing my phone so if you're saying to yourself boy you really got bone on that microphone because this sounds like crap it's because you're not hearing that microphone right now this is a new mechanical switch keyboard from razor it's their own in-house brand switch they call it orange i think it is non-clicky which is great but still has a pretty good feel i like this keyboard quite a bit but the big change in the Digitalia world is down here. I blogged about this, so I won't go into too much detail, but I decided I just wasn't a laptop guy for my main rig. I've been running a, a Lenovo laptop for my rain, main rig for the last few years, and it just never left my house. There's no reason to have it as a laptop. So I built this guy in the last couple weeks. It's a Skylake i3 with 16 gigs of RAM and a 500 gigabyte SSD, and it screams. I also went with a 500 watt fanless power supply because I, I wanted to be as quiet as possible because I hate machine noise in my office. And I was able to get one on eBay for like 60 bucks, which is incredible for a, power, a uh, fanless power supply. Brand new in a box. And this thing here, you hear that nothing? That would be the sound of this machine. It is quieter than my Lenovo laptop. It's quieter than my Surface Pro. It is practically dead silent. And this is using a stock Intel cooler and those are generally noisy little angry things. And the Skylake CPU is so, especially the i3 is so power efficient it's running with a stock cooler at like 28, 29 degrees C. So great desktop build. The other reason I wanted to build a desktop is I've been thinking about what I wanted to do for gaming. And rather than get a PS4, I'm probably just going to get a GTX 950 or 960 and put it in here. And just play games right on this rig. There's plenty of really great games in Steam right now for Linux. So that's probably the route I'm going to go for gaming in the future. But that's Digitalia. Now for Musicatalia. All the guitars are the same. Frank Frank the Frankenstrat, my Les Paul-ish Michael Kelly Patriot. Uh, this is a Yamaha Pacifica that's been heavily modded and a slightly modded uh, GNL Comanche. But this is new this year. This is a PRS SE Soap Bar 2. I want to try a PRS and I want to try P90s and this let me do both and used it was like 200 bucks, which is crazy. PRS, I heard even on their SE models, the build quality was really good. And it's hard for me to say definitively since I got this used, it could have gotten a nice tweak up from a luthier, but the build quality it's fantastic. The fretwork is perfect. It's a chubber of a neck and, and it just feels very good. P90s, 
I like for certain things, I've decided. It has a very different sort of tone. It's not a humbucker, it's not, a, not like a Strat single coil. It's, it's different, but I do like the sound of them. So that's new in the electric guitar world. In the acoustic guitar world, we've had this odd thing happen. This is a Gibson, not a Chibson, a Gibson J60 Bone Crusher Dreadnought. This is several thousand dollars worth of tree. I think it's from 1997, we figured out. This, my stepfather gave it to me because he wasn't playing it anymore. And I would never, ever, ever buy something like this for myself. This is just way too expensive because uh, my musical stuff is a hobby. It's not exactly paying the bills. So, but it's an incredible sounding instrument. I'm rehabbing it a bit right now. There's a back bow on the neck that I think came from the factory that way because the, the bridge saddle was like never filed down and had a shim under it. So I think the action was set very high to make up for the for the back bow. But the truss rod works, the neck straightened right out, and the neck string change, I'm gonna lower down the action, and it will be smooth as butter. It is a beautiful guitar. I'm almost afraid to touch it. And over in the electric world, my entire rig has changed. This is a Black Star HT5. It's mostly known for the high gain channel, which I don't use because I don't really like it. I put in some better quality tubes and run it on the clean channel, which I do like, and use pedals for doing my nasty bits. Picks, I got into these Dragon Heart picks this year, I like very much. And it's going into a Panama Guitars oversized 1x12 solid wood cabinet. It's using, I think it's a rebranded warehouse speaker with like a Celestian V30 kind of sound. And it, uh, it has an attenuator in it too. So if you're running a giant tube amp and you want to crank it up in your room, but you don't want to become sterile, you can attenuate the signal. Oh, I hear a garbage truck. That's live action, folks. You think I edit these videos? No. So it's a very good sounding cab. And down on the floor, we have a TC Electronics Mojo Mojo, bringing the dirt. A Wampler Pinnacle Deluxe, bringing the pain. This is a wonderful sounding uh, pedal. We have a TC Electronics Flashback Delay, putting the kit, the these guys in like a cavern. And we have a BBE Sonic Stop, which does almost nothing, but the not nothing thing it does, I just absolutely love, and it's just always a part of my rig. That's the state of the office. Bye-bye.